As a teacher, it's useful to have a copy of our course that we can keep safe outside of Moodle, or perhaps reuse it in a different Moodle site, or give it to a colleague in a different Moodle site, or even have another version of our course in the same Moodle site. Moodle calls this copy a backup, and to make a backup of our course, we need to scroll down to the administration block and to click the link Backup. This is how you would back up the course that you will have created for the Teaching with Moodle introduction course. When we click the link Backup, we need to follow the instructions to decide what exactly we want to bring over with our copy of our course and not. First of all, note that there are X's next to enrolled users and user information. That means because we're a teacher and for security reasons, we can only back up the actual course content, the resources and activities. We can't back up the information, the data that our learners have included. If you need to have your course with all of your learner data, then you need to have your administrator back it up for you. We basically want to include everything else, activities, blocks, filters, and so we scroll down and click Next. On the next screen, we're presented with a list of all of our activities and resources, and we need to decide which ones we want to include, by default all of them are selected, or which ones we don't want to include. So, for example, if I didn't want to include the French vocabulary worksheet, I could untick or uncheck that box. And again, we scroll down, and once we've decided which activities we want to include and leave out, we click the Next button. In the next screen, we're prompted to check all of the settings. Our backup course has been given a file name, which we can rename if we want to, or leave it as it is. And we scroll down to make sure that all of the settings and the included activities are the ones that we want. If there are any errors, we simply go back to the previous screen and change them. Now it's time to click the button to perform the backup. And we get a message, the backup file was successfully created. Clicking the continue button will take us to where we can get a copy of the backup file to download it and save it offline. And if we scroll down, we have our user private backup area, which tells us what the course is and the size of it and the time that we actually backed it up. So if we want to get this out of Moodle to save, for example, on a CD or a pen drive, we click the download button. We aren't going in this video or this course to look at how you can then put your course into a separate Moodle site, but if you look in the administration block and you look at the link restore, you simply reverse the process by clicking the restore link and then uploading your file and following the screen instructions in that.